Greetings to all grade 11 students. Welcome to our speaking lesson. Today we are going to focus on likes and dislikes, your hobbies and interests. In today's lesson, we are going to cover two main objectives. First, you will use new vocabulary to make meaningful sentences. Second, you will express your own opinion about hobbies that are appealing to you. All right, now let's recall most of the hobbies or leisure activities that we learned in the previous lessons. Collecting stamps, which is considered as an old hobby. Cryptozoology, categorized as a unusual hobby. Running of the bulls, urban gardening, camel race, and of course, there is a big list of hobbies. All right, now let's refer to the student book, page 31, the speaking part. We are going to use some of the vocabulary in the box in meaningful sentences about hobbies. So let's make sure to pronounce these words very well. Active, appealing, capture, creativity, dangerous, dull, educational, express yourself, indoors, inexpensive, instructor, monotonous, repetitive, outdoors, patience, technique. So it is very important to pronounce correctly when speaking so the audience could understand what you are saying. If you do not understand the meaning of some of these words, do not forget to use your dictionaries. All right, now we are going to use some of these vocabulary in meaningful sentences. Let's start. Appealing. The word appealing means interesting or attractive. Let's share an example. Camping is somehow more appealing or more interesting than swimming. Next one. Monotonous is something boring. Let's flip and check the example. Reading dull or monotonous, they have the same meaning. Newspaper articles is boring, is not interesting. Next one. Educational. This is an adjective to describe something that educates you or makes you learn new things. An example, collecting antiques, old things, is an educational hobby. Of course, it will teach you about history. Capture, to capture or to record something in writing or in painting. Visiting art galleries teaches you capture the beauty in a painting or to record the beauty in a painting. Outdoor versus indoor. Due to COVID-19, people were unable to do outdoor activities. So during this period, we couldn't go out, we couldn't go to parks or to malls. So they had to think about indoors hobbies about indoor activities that we could do at home. Okay, if you would like to sound natural and spontaneous when speaking, it is very important to build your vocabulary and learn phrases that help you express your opinion. Remember that when telling someone our opinions, especially when using formal English, there is a certain way we do it in order to sound polite. It's important to know how to clearly express our thoughts in an organized way so that no one misunderstands us or gets offended. Okay, now as you can see in this box on your student book in the speaking part, we have effective phrases how to ask someone's opinion. Let's read the examples. What do you think? How do you see it? So, of course, when we say, how do you see it? It means, what do you think? Okay, it's not about something visual. 
how do you feel about it's about your attitude regarding something don't you think that for example don't you think that cryptozoology is an interesting hobby now how to express your opinion you can say the way i see it or if you ask me in my opinion let's share the previous examples with these phrases you can say the way i see it is that collecting antiques is an educational hobby so when you say something coming from your own opinion use the opinion of phrases because it's not a fact it's an opinion if you ask me writing stories requires a big deal of creativity in my opinion reading dull or monotonous newspaper articles is boring now how to express comparison when you compare between two things you can say is more interesting than for example you can say swimming is more interesting than hiking isn't as exciting as isn't as look at this structure hiking isn't as exciting or isn't as fun as swimming is the most suitable for them because is the most suitable or is the most convenient or is the best for them because here we should justify our answer you cannot just say it is good without justifying why is it good so you can be more persuasive okay one of the best or worst thing about is that would appeal more or would interest me okay then is sure to interest students more than so these phrases are very important i recommend that you learn at least two from each part all right so in order to speak accurately and clearly we have to take into consideration the following tips you have to practice speaking in English with a friend or with your teacher. If you have some native speakers in the surrounding, it will be great if you practice with them. It's totally okay to make mistakes, never feel embarrassed to speak in English. It's fine because this will totally improve your English. Relax and talk naturally. Don't be nervous rather than trying to remember ready-made answers because this will not sound spontaneous. Speak as much as you can, learn phrases and build your vocabulary. And of course, this is through learning new words in the classroom. All right, now let's move on to the activity in the speaking part, page 31. Imagine that your school is organizing after school clubs for its students. So after school clubs are not related to the curriculum. They are extracurricular activities. Below are some choices they are thinking about. First, talk in pairs about the different hobbies and how appealing means how interesting each of these would be for students at your school then decide which two hobbies would be the most popular of course the answers here would be different from one person to another because they are based on personal preferences so these are the hobbies flying remote controlled mini aircraft jewelry making which is creative photography caving as you can see, this is a cave collecting old postcards. All right, I hope you practice expressing your opinion regarding the displayed uh, hobbies. Now we are going to share some model answers and please try to focus on the phrases used to express our opinion. The first one, focus on the highlighted words. I think flying a remote controlled mini craft can be fun for students who spend a lot of time indoors. Okay, we use the model verb can be fun. 
So we cannot determine that it's 100% true because it is based on our personal opinion. Next one. As far as I am concerned, which means in my view, jewelry making is a good hobby. Now we are going to justify because if someone makes some nice pieces of jewelry, they can give them to friends or family as presents. Don't forget to justify your opinion so you can persuade the audience. Next one. In my opinion, photography is a great hobby. Most students have their own cameras and would love to learn new techniques. If you ask me, this is a different phrase that it has the same meaning as the previous ones. Caving is the most adventurous of the hobbies. It must be very exciting. Here you seem like you are sure of this. And finally, when you disagree, you can use this phrase. I don't think collecting old postcards is a very exciting hobby for a student. Okay, I hope you understand how to use these phrases to express your point of view. All right, now listen carefully to a model answer and notice how opinions are clearly expressed about the hobbies that we already talked about. Listen to a model answer of a conversation about best hobbies for students. I think flying a remote controlled mini craft can be fun for students who spend a lot of time indoors. It's a hobby that they can enjoy outside in the fresh air. True. Also, it's a hobby that someone can do on their own or with friends. You're right. I suppose the only expense is buying the aircraft, but I guess it's worth it, since you are going to fly it for a long time. As far as I'm concerned, I don't think they are expensive, or at least the prices start very low. What about jewel remaking? It would be a good hobby for someone who is good with their hands. They'd be patient too, because they would be working with small beans and other things. I think it's a good hobby because if someone makes some nice pieces of jewelry, they can give them to friends or family as presents. Maybe if they are good at it. It looks simple but I don't think it's for everyone. Well, if someone likes making things and has an artistic eye, they'd like it. Well, it's just that I think jewelry making would be a little dull for some people as a hobby. How do you feel about photography? I think photography is a great hobby. Most students have their own cameras and would love to learn new techniques. They can take photos wherever they are and if they like traveling, then it can be a nice way to capture images from a trip. It's certainly a very creative hobby. I'd like to point out, though, that it would need some expensive equipment. I know. In the beginning, you'll have to buy a camera, but I think many students may already have one or at least a phone which has a good camera. Now, caving. What do you think of it? Caving is the most adventurous of the hobbies. It must be very exciting. For sure, but it wouldn't be for everyone. You're right. It's a hobby that is a bit out of the ordinary. If you ask me, exploring a cave is more interesting than any of the other hobbies. It's also great for active and adventurous people. You have a point, but if someone doesn't like small, tight spaces, being inside a cave could be a nightmare. Plus, you would need to be with an instructor or it could be dangerous. I see what you mean. The school would have to get an experienced instructor to organize the trips to the caves. But it's more exciting than collecting old postcards, for example. What do you think? Well, sure, I agree. Collecting old postcards may be a hobby for someone who likes memories and pictures, but I don't think collecting old postcards is a very exciting hobby for a student. That's right. And to be honest, I don't think you need to be in a club if you want to collect something. You can do it on your own. That's true. So, which options do you think are the most suitable for the students at our school? Well, I think photography is creative and also could be challenging, so a photography club would be appealing to most students. I agree. I also think caving would be a good choice. It is very active exciting and challenging. 
It would be a completely different way for students to stay active and learn about nature at the same time. You're right. It sounds like fun and it's also educational. So I guess it's photography and caving then. All right, I hope the model conversation was useful and could help you notice how opinion phrases are used. So when you are simply chatting with a friend, we don't want to make a fight out of this. So we must know how to show empathy with different opinions and also disagree without sounding aggressive. So we need to express our opinions and at the same time show that we are listening, understanding and appreciating the other opinions. This is all for today. Thank you so much for your attendance. See you next time.